from your kind of background, it's impossible to rise again. You are rising again. Holy Spirit and the world. There is no man that can understand the Bible without the Holy Spirit. He is the author of the Bible. Except interpret God's word to you, your understanding of the world will be limited. In 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17, it says, all scriptures, not some scriptures, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works. He is the author of the word of God. Only him can interpret it to your understanding. Any attempt to interpret God's word without the Holy Spirit will lead to absolute frustration and confusion. Try to read the Bible without his help. We end in delusion. Because he is the one who wrote the word. Man only took what he said. Now listen. If you transcribe my cassette, you are not the author. You are only transcribing what I have said. The men who wrote the Bible only transcribe what he gave to them. And only him can interpret the word to you. Is that clear, sir? Many are confused because they try to read the Bible without involving him, the author of the word. In the first place, how would they involve him when they don't know him? Many don't know who the Holy Spirit is. If you ask some Christians who is the Holy Spirit, they say, ah, what do you mean Holy Spirit? They don't know who he is and his function. Now listen. At the beginning, in 1 John 5 verse 7, it said, and there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. And these three are one. The Word is Jesus. Who is the Word? In the beginning, what's the Word? John 1, 1, and the Word was with God, and the word was God. The word is Jesus. But Jesus himself, when he came on earth, John chapter 1 verse 14, became flesh the word. He needed the Holy Spirit to perform. So they are interdependent. The Holy Ghost will walk with the word, and the word will walk with the Holy Spirit. You understand what I'm saying? So you need to know how to place each one. Otherwise, you will not get the benefits. The Holy Spirit is a person. It's not a dove. It's not wind. It's a person. It's a who? It's a capital H-E. He has feelings. He talks. He sees. He teaches. You can grieve him. You can what? You can grieve him. If you grieve him, you can walk out. Ephesians 4 verse 30. You can grieve him with your attitude. You can grieve him even with your lifestyle. He can just step out. He's not a demon. He doesn't possess people. He doesn't force people. He operates when you give him room. Is that clear? But you need to know how to walk with him with the world. And we looked at some important things the Holy Spirit does with the Word. What are the things it does what? With the Word. We said, number one, He inspires the Word. Number two, He teaches the Word. Number three, He gives you understanding of, many of us, He can teach us, but you know, someone can teach you, and if you don't understand, it's useless. Even those who failed in the class, they taught them, true? Hmm? And then you are biting your viral. One of the ways to know that you don't know something during the exam is to bite your viral. 
So it's not enough for the Holy Ghost to teach you. You also need to have understanding. So we touch on how you can understand the word by the Holy. It reveals what? It reveals the word. Then number five, it convicts, converts sinners. And number six, it makes us to speak the word with boldness. In this service, we're looking at number seven. What the Holy Spirit does, what? With the word. So I hear. Hmm? Things the Holy Spirit does with the word, number seven. The Holy Spirit transforms lives with the word. The Holy Spirit transforms lives with the word. At new birth, only your spirit changed, but your mind remained the same. Now listen. <laughs> when you gave your life to Jesus, your mind remained what? Your spirit man was born again, but your mind has to be renewed with the word of God. So I hear. When your mind was transplanted to Jesus' mind, it stopped there. But you have a responsibility. Let me explain carefully so that. Transformation is impossible until your mind is renewed. Until your mind is what? Do you know you can never successfully renew your mind without the word of God? And you cannot understand the word of God without the Holy Spirit. Every transformation comes through what? The word. But you can't understand the word without the Holy Spirit. In Romans chapter 12 and verse 2. What the Holy Ghost does is that it helps to reprogram your mind with the truth. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and accept and perfect will of God. No man can be transformed without the renewing of the mind. And the renewing of the mind is a personal responsibility. It's a personal what? But you need the help of the Holy Spirit in the process. I'll read the Passion translation of that Romans 12, verse 2. Shall we read together? One to go. Stop imitating the ideas and opinions of the culture around you, but be inwardly transformed by the Holy Spirit through a total transformation. Of how you think. This will empower you to design God's will. As you live a beautiful life. Satisfying and perfect in his eyes. Our secondary school has a place we call transformation center. Nobody has done it on earth. We are the first to do it on earth. Never read it from any book. Never saw it from anywhere. That's what the Holy Ghost does. Now, there can never be transformation without him. Listen carefully. How did I get that one? Now bring it back to what I'm teaching. A single mother came to me. Her son was suspended from the school. Because the boy misbehaved, which is common in all schools. When a person misbehaves, you suspend the person. That's the normality everybody knows. It was suspended, and she ran to me crying. I said, sir, I'm a single mother. I brought this boy to that school because that is my last hope. I believe that if there is not his own, I'm gone. I brought him so that you can help him. But if Okma should suspend him, then I'm finished. Now, there's a way someone will cry. There are two cries. There's emotional cry, and there's deep, compassionate cry. 
When this man cried, it was not emotional. You know when somebody is saying, I'm, this is the last hope I have. So the level of tears jumped inside me, well upon me, and triggered the compassion. He said, Papa, please, if this school suspend him, I know it's wrong, but I can tell you I'm finished. There's nothing I can do. I can't even bring him to the house. At that point, I was confused. There are things they won't teach you in school. There, there's no faculty of wisdom in any school. There's no university that has faculty of wisdom. And there's no faculty of success. No department of divine wisdom. Any department like that? Our professor. <laughs> so, I said, Lord, what do I do? I went to Okma. Nobody knew what was happening. I was meditating. I said, Lord, there must be an answer. What do I do? How do I solve this problem? I was communicating with heaven. I said, Lord, show me an answer. What do I do? Because no, there, there's no way. Oh, yes, I will tell you, you know, taking for ethical training, all those things, they are temporary solutions. <laughs> Nothing changes a man except the world. That's why if you take drug people and go for drug habitation center, after two years, they go back to drug. The only go just said to me, say, no! Except the mind is transformed, there cannot be a renewal. I said, how do I do it? He said, set up a center and give them the word for a change. I call the chaplain. I said, come. This is what God is saying to me. I said, sit down. Let's draw a program on transformation. So we began to draw a program on how children can sit in a place for 21 days with the word. So if a child steals, we give him the word for 21 days on why he should not steal. He will go to class, but he will not join others to play. So when he goes to class, he enters the transformation center, you separate him. So we give him the word, 21 days. Pastors will be going one after the other. This, this is why he should not sleep again. So the moment the mind is reprogrammed, the child stops the habit. And everyone we have taken there, we have been able to have a huge up to 90 something percent success. Only one or two. And when you go there two times, you don't change, then we know that you, your case is a different one. <laughs> but 90 something percent has been successful. In fact, a particular boy, when he came by, the father said, This is not my son. That the nature he was exhibiting was his own nature. The father said, This was my nature. But this boy has changed. The boy, he will beat every person he sees. He bullies everybody. He said was not stealing. He bullies. He would just sit like this and just match the person. <laughs> <laughs> He's so quiet. Now people even provoke him. You'll be looking at them. So there's no way you can change your life without renewing your mind. And there's no way you can renew your mind without the help of the Holy Spirit. Do you understand where I'm going? Stay tuned. David Ibiumi will be right back. Follow David Ibiumi online for daily prophecies and wisdom quotes for living via Instagram at David underscore Ibiumi, Twitter at David Ibiumi, Facebook at David Ibiumi. You can also listen and subscribe to the David Ibiumi podcast on Apple Podcast, Spotify, Anchor FM, Google Podcast, and much more. God bless you. Welcome to Our Salvation with David Ibiomi. So if you want to change your life, you must change your mind. Listen, let me say this to you. Your life can never change until your mind is renewed. And your mind cannot be renewed without the word of God. And you cannot understand the word without the help of the Holy Spirit. See, I did that woven. Do you know why so many things, you cannot change them? 
Because your mind has not been renewed. Hmm? And no man's mind can be renewed without the word of God. And you can't understand the word of God without the help of the Holy Spirit. So I hear. In 2 Corinthians 3 verse 18. But we all with open face beholding as in the glass the glory of the Lord. Are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the spirit of what? The Lord. You can't correct any habit by flogging. You can't correct any habit by moral ethics. You only correct habits from the word. God's word is spiritual mirror that the Holy Spirit uses to show us who we are. Is that clear? If your mind is not renewed, you can't succeed on it. In any area of life. In any area. At the worst, an unrenewed mind it's like trying to use a dead knife to cut a tree that's not sharpened. A blood knife. Are you hearing me now? Your mind, every change takes place from where? The mind. Where does it take place? Every habit is formed from where? Every habit, good or bad, where do you form it from? Do you know every sin, where does it start from? And everything you want to stop, where will you stop from? The mind. But you can't do anything correct without the word of God. And you can't do the word of God without the help of the Holy Spirit. Hmm? So here. In James 1 to the 3, let's read the GMT translation. Shall we together? If you listen to the word, but do not put it to practice, you are like people who look in the mirror and see themselves as they are. Can I tell you something? Do you want to grow? Be truth to yourself. Be what? Be truth, you know, People can deceive you, but the worst deception is when you deceive yourself. Be truth to yourself. You can only change when you are sincere to yourself. True? You can say no, 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 but you know yourself. If you love money, you know you love it. There's no point telling yourself, I don't love money. Yeah, you can now be true to thyself. If you love women, you know. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Be true to yourself. Be true to what? Yourself. Somebody who loves women, will you, will you not know? You know. You know. Even if everybody says you don't love, you know. If every five women pass and you look, you know that you love women. Be true. You say, I, I love women. Oh, this thing. Every fine woman, unknowingly, that's how you do. Every fine woman, you join your eye, just go like this. <laughs> Be true. Then now the word of God will not make you stop that habit, and the Holy Ghost will not help you renew your mind. Are you going to say now? But to not tell yourself it's a lie, you won't change. Are you going to say now? Be true to yourself. James 1, 23, 24, the Passion Translation. If you listen to the word and don't leave out the message you hear, you become like the person who looks in the mirror of the world to discover the reflection of his face in the world. Beginning. You perceive how God sees you in the mirror of the world, but then you go out and forget your divine origin. The Holy Ghost through God's word shows you who you are. He said, this is in you. This is how you should change. This is how you become better. Read Bible. Read my word to a transformation of your mind. So I hear. And then the word of God, which is the true mirror, by the help of the Holy Ghost will tell you, 
This is the reason. Okay, now listen. Very simple. You are lazy to read the Bible, yet you want to know God. It's impossible. It's what? No man can know God who has not read the word. Hmm? It's right here. So be true to yourself. Be true. If you are born again, you have to renew your mind from the love of money. Until love of money, now, convert any of those bad boys. First thing they will tell you, I don't get house. Find house rent. Find me money, we will never chop. So the real problem is not there. The problem is the love of God. And the man cannot be renewed without the word of God. And he can't have the word of God without the Holy Spirit. So I hear. I said if you like women, that's also some women to like men. No, nobody's not in so, so don't think it's a... It's not only men who like women. Women to like men. It's both sides. It's true? Let's not look as if it's only men. The woman who like men is, is love of money. Because I've not seen a woman who likes a poor man. So it's not the man they love. It's the love of money. Love of what? So even if it's an Amrabah, she will follow him. Number eight. Be true. Shout hallelujah. Hmm? The greatest thing that says free is what? The truth. Number eight. The Holy Spirit impacts people through the word. What does it do with the word? It impacts people. Impact. The Holy Spirit impacts people through the word. The atmosphere of the world is the atmosphere of spiritual impartation. When people give rapt attention to God's word, the Holy Spirit impacts them with power and spiritual fire that keeps them revived. Now listen. In Ezekiel 2 2, he said, The Spirit entered into me when he spake unto me. So when you're hearing God's word, the atmosphere of the word, what the Holy Ghost says, the Holy Ghost says, so as I was hearing the preaching, all of a sudden I saw that I can do it. That's what the Holy Ghost does. You find yourself under some atmosphere, say, as I was hearing the word of God, I just discovered that I can do that thing. That he's the Holy Ghost that did that. Thing. Is that clear? He says, as I was hearing God's word, I just saw where I missed it. It's one. It impacts you with. It's okay, I've seen where I missed it. I missed it in my titan. I've seen where I missed it. I don't read Bible. A boldness came upon me. I said, yes, I can make this thing happen. So I hear. He impacts. He said, the spirit enters. So every time you're hearing God's word, just don't get carried away with the word. Be carried away with the spirit. Jump inside you. Now, listen. He said, the spirit entered into me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet. I heard him that speak unto me. Is, it clear? Is that clear? He helps to steer you up into action when you hear the word. It moves you to do what you are naturally will not have done. You can't be a word addict and not be a mover. When the spirit of the word enters just yourself, go into action. Clear? He said, now, listen, I can do that. Thing. I can, I can. They say, say, I can't do it. I can't do it. Be baptized as I'm talking right now with the new spirit. In the name of Jesus. So make God's word your daily what? Delight. You can't lack his voice. You keep hearing and charge you will be coming. Just be reading Bible. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You are God's most prized possession. Your worth to him is incomparable. Nothing can separate you from the love of God. Not the sin, not the pain, not your shame. 
Jesus says, All that the Father giveth to me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. John chapter 6 verse 37 God is waiting for you with open arms. Come to him as you are. He will give you life, freedom, peace, transformation. Wherever you are, pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that you died and rose from the dead to save me. Now with my mouth, I declare you Lord over my life. Thank you, Father, for saving me. In Jesus' name. They worship together regularly at the temple each day. Met in small groups in homes for communion and shared meals with great joy and thankfulness. Acts 2, 4-6 In your daily pursuit of a fulfilling life, you need the support of a spiritual family. A heaven where you can enjoy spiritual comforts. A brook where you can be refreshed with God's word. And a military backup for fellow soldiers in Christ. Enjoy these and much more in the Cell Fellowship, designed as a close-knit setting for your personal revival, growth, and blessings. It exists in three structures, the Home Cell Fellowship, which is suited for everyone, the Corporate Cell Fellowship, which is convenient for corporate offices and organizations, and the Unique Cell Fellowship, which is made for students. No matter your preference, there is a place for you. Locate the nearest Cell Fellowship Center to you and begin reaping the benefits today. Like David Ibiomir to receive daily prayers and prophecies live on Facebook. Like and follow only David Ibiomir's official verified account. Remember, always look out for the verified icon. Join us next time on Our Salvation with David Ibiomir. This message was brought to you by Salvation Ministries, home of success.